um, whether it was the shipping and the fish business, uh, whether it was selling of, of uh, merchantile or cloth, all of them had business. So, so I believe that God's plan is for us to ultimately be independent, um, to work our own business, not to have to work for people. Now, it's always good when you can work for people and they pay you what you're worth. But the truth of the matter is that with the American system is set up, no one will truly that you work for pay you for what you think you're worth. So you have to get to a point that you're able to pay you for what you think you're worth. That I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. God's desire for our life is that we live a life of prosperity. He wants us prosperous in every one of our endeavors. So that means that in, I always expect to win at everything I do. Um, I've got to see a deal. I've got to see an opportunity. And one of the quickest ways I learned to do that is stuff that doesn't work for me, I don't work for it. Let me say that again. Stuff that don't work for me, I don't work for it. You can type in what you're thinking in your head. And guess what happens? Tons of other things come up. And guess what we do? We shop other businesses. We look at other people's ideas. Sometimes it's good to take a driving trip. They are less than 100 miles away from you and you're thinking about doing it. Take a drive. Go to their store. You can open a retail store. See how they do things. Do not be afraid to look at others. They may not be your competition. They're in another city. Not yet, not till you start franchising. They're not even your competition yet. Watch the model of other people, how they do what they do. Watch their strengths and their weaknesses, their mistakes and their accomplishments. See, a bad business can teach me what not to do, as well as a good business can teach me what I should do. Any of the best business, I'm to learn what do they do right and what do they do wrong? Eat the meat, spit out the bones. Take the good, kick out the wrong. If you will take these principles concerning business, it will shape how you do things. Because the scripture has declared there's nothing new under the sun. So if you're thinking it, many times someone else has already thought it or is thinking it alike. The art of business is to supply and demand. You see a need, ready? And you supply a need. I want to start a business. You know what? I want a weave shop. Well, wait, wait, let me help you. There's 50 11 weave shops. There's a demand, but not a high demand. So that tells me that my profit potential is going to be relatively low. I've got to fight. But ready? If I stay in a neighborhood, ready? And in my neighborhood, there's no grocery store. Everybody got to walk a mile, several miles to get to the grocery store. Nobody have bus passes. Everyone's stuck. It's a ways before you get to the bus. And it's a community. No one has a car. A grocery store is the perfect part. Supply and demand. I'm in a neighborhood where nobody can get to the store, but everybody wants to go. My own hacker service, picking up people, taking them to the store is a job, is a business that no one has in the area. Going to the store for people, a neighborhood where people, a bunch of elderly and none of them have daughters or family in a neighborhood. Ready? My hacker services, me going to take orders from, well, what I charge, ma'am, is I charge $15 for 10 items or 30 items or this is my what I charge and ready I go pick up 30 items they pay me $15 and ready I do that for 10 people a day that's $150 a day $150 a day times 7 you do the math that's 700 700 dollars 700 dollars times 300 dollars that is a thousand dollars a week I've made a thousand dollars a week times four I've made four grand the key to wealth is that Money is always around you. Increase is always around you. It ain't somewhere that you gotta find it like, 
Money, hey, 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 money, where you at? Over there, over there, over there. Hey, 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 how you doing, money? Money is never long. Money is never far away. Money is always around you. Commerce is around you every single day. You as rich as the next thought that comes to your mind. Economics is real simple. Supply and demand. As long as there's a demand, you find out what the demand is. And if you give the supply, you corner the market in the beginning.